Wealth, fame, power. We just got, got the One Piece live well. action, and I gotta tell you, after watching episode one, yeah, I'm in all the way. I absolutely loved episode one. We're definitely gonna talk about it, but if this video gets 50 likes, I'll 100% convince my wife to react to One Piece episode one. She really has no idea what One Piece is. She hasn't seen the anime or read the manga or anything like that. And honestly, I feel like episode one of One Piece live action is good enough to at the very least introduce somebody into the series. So yeah, 50 likes, I'll get her reaction and we'll go from there. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about the greatness that is One Piece live action. So before we get started with my first impressions of episode one, I really wanted to go and see what critics are saying about the One Piece live action and what the audience essentially, how they're receiving the live action, right? On IMDb right now is sitting at an 8.8. .8. Now I'm sure with all the haters hating on One Piece, cause you know, you can just go into IMDb and start giving it a one star rating. It's probably gonna start going down. And then on Rotten Tomatoes, the critic reviews, they sit at around 82 and a 94 audience score which kind of works both ways right like the hardcore fans are probably going to give it a 10 regardless if it's good or bad while the hardcore haters are going to give it a 1 regardless if it's good or bad but honestly for me after watching episode 1 if I'm just rating episode 1 I would say it's a solid 8.5 out of 10 now let's go and through the stuff that I like and stuff like that for example the pacing the episode was absolutely fast paced and if you're an anime only you know the one piece pacing in the anime horrendous so the fact that we're getting this super fast pacing i absolutely love it we got through aldiva and we also got through the whole morgan arc which is great but on top of that right we also got an intro introduction to nami way earlier in the story than how we got it in the manga and anime so i honestly like that way more because we get the straw hats way sooner and honestly the hardest thing about One Piece for me when I started watching the anime was just getting through Arlong Park because Arlong Park is where I think the anime absolutely just kicks off and becomes that top tier anime that everybody should experience. And it was a little slow at first, so I really like how the live action is kind of just going through the motions, not skipping very important parts of the story, right? Heck, even with Nami, where we got to see her storyline just kind of put in way sooner than before, we still get to see her steal that boat from the buggy pirates. So yeah. They didn't really change anything. The only thing that they really changed was moving the scenes around. They still got to keep the heavy story plots and plot points that make these characters great. So I absolutely love that. I mean, it's a live action. Of course, they were going to cut content. And of course, they were going to change some scenes around. But the important part is that they don't change that important plot point. So they didn't do that with Nami. So I absolutely loved it. Now, on top of that, we also got the fight scenes, which look phenomenal, especially with Zoro. Zoro is doing some crazy stuff with the sword absolutely love it now the actor he also played Rirouni Kenshin and he did some phenomenal work over there so it really kind of helps in in the One Piece live action as well because you know Zoro with three swords yeah looks badass all the fights that he was in were definitely my favorite fights in the episode we got to see him go against agent seven which i don't believe that was in the anime or manga i think that's like you know live action original uh the very least i don't remember i read one piece like seven years i mean not seven years like 10 15 years ago when i started watching the anime right so yeah i probably don't remember all the the stuff especially from early on right only like the key moments that will always always be in my mind but yeah i don't think that was in the anime or manga and it was a little gruesome which i also like because the live action yeah there's a little bit of blood here and there there's you know they're, they're actually you know uh, a, a little gruesome for sure i mean he sorrow cut the dude in half and then was just walking around with half his body yeah that is actually wild now on top of that as well i really do like luffy uh the way he uses his fruit his devil fruit because whenever he hits somebody you can actually feel how hard he's hitting these people. Like, I thought that was going to be an issue because you also see it in some of the fights sometimes that they're, they're actually not hitting each other, right? But with Luffy, whenever he actually hits somebody, it almost feels like he actually made contact and actually punched somebody. So, yeah, in that regard, some fights, they look a little, you know, like, uh, I would say like WWE in a way, but... In other parts, with Luffy specifically and Zoro with the swords, where they actually clash with each other, it looks really good. Now, the other thing, the music. I really wanted to talk about the music because the music, One Piece, is known to have some great soundtracks. And they didn't really use any of it here, at least not that I remember. Now, I, they did use Bink's Sake uh, whenever Luffy and Shanks 
were having their moment, right? Whenever they were having the flashback in the bar. Yes, they used Bing Sake, which is absolutely amazing. I really want to see those little Easter eggs, the music. Again, the music already exists, right? Why not use it? Because I'm going to tell you right now, whenever we get that iconic scene of the whole Straw Hat crew walking up to Arlong and, you know, to lay down the work on him, we better get that soundtrack straight from the anime, right? Because that what that's what makes that scene iconic the music so if they change that music for that scene i am going to be a little bit salty now overall episode one absolutely great everything about it has been absolutely amazing yes some people might not like the fact that they're changing scenes around but regardless they're changing it in a good way. They're not actually cutting content and supplementing it with like original content that doesn't even make sense. Like compared to something like Dragon Ball, right? The Dragon Ball live action is has nothing to do with the actual Dragon Ball anime or manga. Like it's set in a high school setting. That makes no sense whatsoever. They're not doing that with One Piece, right? One Piece is staying in the same world, the same characters, the same story plot lines, the the same story beats. They're not really missing anything that hasn't been done before. Sure, they're cutting stuff, but it's not that bad. It's stuff that we really don't need when you really think about it. Now, overall, yes, it's absolutely great. And like I said before, if we get 50 likes on this video, I will 100% get my wife to react to this episode one because honestly, you have to experience the One Piece, right? And the live action, while it might not be the greatest way to actually consume One Piece, I still think the manga is the best way, you know? Something is better than nothing. And everybody needs to experience the greatness that is One Piece. Yeah, I'm going to continue watching. Definitely going to make a whole video whenever I get done with everything. Just kind of talking about the series, what I like, what I didn't like, and stuff like that. But, you know, let me know what you think. Are you watching the One Piece live action? Are you liking it? You don't like it? Let me know in the comments down below. And like always, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next episode. Peace out. Bye.